not long ago I acquired this bubble canopy off of a, an Electrothon racer that I got for a hundred bucks. And I thought it might be a good time to try to uh, revitalize the old high mileage trike project. So here we go, round three. Coming, basic layout. This will just be my vehicle, so I'm pretty much just building it like a race car, just building it to my size. Real simple suspension, I still believe. This will just spring in like this, a main axle, and it'll just hinge. Won't be independent suspension, just simplifying things. That'll be good enough for streets. This is a leftover from the last time I tried to make my trike. It's bent a little too deep. I'm going to try to make a break here so I can bend four tubes of the same size. A uh, little less uh, arc than these guys. you got to put in two the spring back. When you bend, metal wants a spring back. Yeah, so while I'm trying to figure out the radius here, uh, let me tell you a little about this trike. I've been thinking about this since 1982. That's when I discovered the California Commuter, a uh, vehicle that got 155 miles per gallon. I was amazed. And I also discovered the Vector. It was a trike that uh, competed in the IHPVA competition, reached 55 miles an hour. I always wanted to marry those two together, the teardrop shape of the Vector and uh, a lightweight single passenger vehicle for commuting. My first attempt at making this trike was made many moons ago. It turned out to be too heavy, but I learned a lot. Second one, couldn't decide what to do. I just didn't even get off the prototype stage. So here we are, third time around. This time, God, well, you'll just have to watch. This rain will be here all day. This will work. Slowly but surely, I think we're getting it. Uh, as you can see here, it turned out about as bumpy as a country road. Not too good. It's probably got an idea. Here's the setup. See if that's shallow or deep enough. Well, I'm opting for a little tighter radius, so I'm going to tear this guy down, cut it down just a little bit. Here we go. So the little jig I made paid off. I got four tubes that are relatively the same. So. so that ends part one, and thank you for staying tuned. And check out more videos. They're going to be coming at you pretty quick. Take it easy. Have a good day. And stay safe, everybody. Bye-bye.